I am Sylvia, Rebecca's not here for this episode. I'm going to be talking about HCSC, one of the largest Blue Cross licensees in the nation, buying Cigna, buying all their Medicare, because this whole deal went down in January. And I think we talked about it a little bit in January. But since then, we've had lots of agents calling in with questions because Cigna used to be the most competitive med sub in the market. And they, they've been growing their Medicare Advantage and what happens now? So nobody knows, <laughs> as usual, nobody really knows what is going to happen other than Cigna is exiting completely, not just Medicare Advantage, but their Medicare Supplement Block and their Part D Block, they're getting out. And we expect this deal to close at the beginning of 2025. So the deal as it stands, Cigna will stay in selling those plans through 2025. And so the rest of 2024. So you're like, oh, why would I sell it when it's going to be some, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Maybe it's still the most competitive product where you live, but if you are selling it, continuing to sell it, you have to sell it, explaining the deal with your clients and explaining, we don't really know how that's going to look. Cigna had already shopped a deal to sell to Humana that got shut down. There was, there's a whole bunch of deals that have been shut down in the last couple of years, but this one did go through. Cigna seemed pretty eager to exit the market. And HCSC, which is a Blue Cross in Illinois, Texas, Oklahoma, and New Mexico, they're eager to expand. They have about 22 million Medicare Advantage members. So this gives them an extra 3.6 million members if they can hold on to them. Right, that's always the key because this is, a lot of times this is like holding sand in your hand, trying to keep a hold of your clients. Clients do not like disruption. Some companies out there had some amazing dental benefits in the Medicare Advantage market last year. Yes, it's almost impossible to follow all these CMS guidelines. I am trying. But as an agent, you're always trying to figure out how do I not end up with mud on my face, right? Like, for example, Mutual of Omaha, they've not been a big presence in Medicare Advantage. They kind of got in into like five states and then they, they did, that didn't really go anywhere. Then last year they, they went in with a Part D and they, they did some partnership, some co-branding with WellCare. Well, now Mutual Omaha said, yeah, we're out. Probably, again, speculation, probably due to the pressures of the Inflation Reduction Act and what that's going to do to Part D costs. So they're back out again. And like with Cigna, Cigna was in Part D and then they were, were non-commissioning Part D. And then all the agents were mad because they sold it and they didn't realize they didn't get commissioned. And then we've been hyping up the fact the last couple of years, hey, they're paying commissions again. And then now they're just out. So I don't have anything for you that's good news other than to tell you when you are selling, you are never trying to associate yourself with that brand. If I'm selling water, I am not Evian. This is Evian. I'm an independent agent. I'm an independent broker. I am not Evian. Because if they think, oh, you're my Mutual Omaha lady. Oh, you're my Aetna lady. Then if they ever get mad at Aetna, if they see headlines about class action lawsuits and they see problems with cybersecurity attacks, you don't want them to associate that with you. You want this distance that you're an independent broker. It's an important distinction. And I had to learn this a hard way as a new agent, which I don't want all of you new agents to have to learn it the hard way. You want to say, I'm independent of these companies. I am not an employee of theirs. I am not under a quota sales system through them. I'm independent. I can sell all different companies. If you're unhealthy, unhappy with Evian, I want your first call to be to me and I will shop it for you. And I will tell you the pros and the cons of the competition. It's a very, very simple thing for your client to say, I'm the Evian lady. You never want to let them do that because these companies are in, now, in, out, up, down, for sale, merch. And you want them to know that's going to happen. That, that's never going to stop. But you are the one constant in their life. You, their insurance broker. I always tell my clients, I want to be your broker. I want to be your agent for the rest of your life. Plans are going to change, but I'll still be here. It's a great thing to consider if you're a new agent and you're trying to tweak your sales presentation. Thanks for watching.